Response Generalization versus Stimulus Generalization. What is generalization? When a client is taught a skill in one place, and then the client is able to show you the skill in different places, around different people, at you know, different times, without having to learn the skill again, then we are referring to generalization. Generalization is an important part of behavior analysis treatment, so it's important to understand it. What is the difference between response generalization and stimulus generalization? Think about response generalization as different responses. So on the exam, when you see the words ge response generalization, ask yourself, am I seeing different behaviors in this situation? Response generalization is when my client can show me different skills that I didn't teach the client directly. So there will be different responses and one stimulus. And the untrained responses will do the same thing, aka they will have the same function as a trained response. This little girl is showing us different responses. She was only taught how to say goodbye. And now she said, on her own, she said, bye bye, see you, and peace out. These are different responses. And one, stimulus, her, the teacher on the screen. Stimulus generalization, on the other hand, refers to different stimuli. So if you see a question on the exam about stimulus generalization, ask yourself if you are seeing different stimuli in the situation instead of different behaviors, which is response generalization. So when my client can show me in the presence of different stimuli, then we are referring to stimulus generalization. We will see different stimuli and one response. This is an example of stimulus generalization. Different stimuli. The speech therapist is stimulus number one, the teacher stimulus number two, and grandma stimulus number three. So different stimuli and one response of her saying, see you later, alligator. So remember, stimulus generalization has different stimuli and one response. And remember, stimuli could be anything in the environment. In this situation, the stimuli that you're seeing here, it's the, the speech therapist, the teacher, the grandma, different people. But stimuli, it could be different things in the environment, you know, so different people, different items, different things, anything in the environment would be considered stimuli. Response generalization has different traits, pauses when responding in a situation. Remember this information. Stimulus generalization has different stimuli when responding in a situation. Remember this information.